Hello everybody, my name is Goldonis18 and I'm back with another manga video. Now as we're approaching the end of March of this year, uh, I'm going to be showing you my haul of this month basically. I have collected an additional 50 new volumes from my collection. Surprisingly enough, I've actually read some of them and I've actually read just over half. So I'm looking forward to actually showing you guys what I bought and I'll tell you which ones I have and have not read. So let's get straight to it. And if you want to see more manga videos, please be sure to tell me. And I want to apologise to either half for not having his video up just yet. I will get it up soon, as soon as my phone stops being dumb. Okay, let's begin. So I'm going to be doing it kind of like what I've done doing before for the other couple of manga videos. Apart from my top five favourite mangaka. I want, I'm going to um, basically show you my tall manga and then my sadder shorter one so here we go first up i have fire punch volume one from tatsuki fujimoto now this looks absolutely interesting this is a fairly new release i love i love the cover and it just grabbed me as soon as i saw it and this is by viz media uh it's an another one of my mature manga just like um vagabond and platinum end but this, like I say, this is by Tatsuki Fujimoto, and I picked it up because the cover looked interesting. I've not read it as of yet, but I'm excited to read it. It's got very religious themes to it, in a sense, because it's apparently about the blessed. Who are they? I don't know, but apparently this character is called um, Agni and Luna. Luna. <laughs> but yeah, that's Fire Punch. Next, I have Hatsune Miku. Unofficial Hatsune Mix by K. Basically, this is a selection of stories from the Vocaloid K M Hatsune Miku, who is basically the flagship. That's her right there. And I love Vocaloid. It's actually my favourite type of Japanese music, in a sense. And Miku is actually one of my favourite. My favourite is actually Kagame no Rin. And this is basically... And fun story, K is actually one of the singers who actually um, did this voice for... Uh, Miku and for those of you who don't know what Vocaloid are they're basically computer generated singers that you can make them sing any language basically and I'm so excited about this and another reason why I picked this up is because it's just got beautiful colour artwork and there's just a sample of what to expect and I'm just uh, so much good I love Vocaloid my favourite Vocaloid song is Sincerity Drastic Sincerity Gender Drastic Measure of Naivety, that's not the actual name, it's the name that I gathered from what it was, so yeah, I am super excited to start reading it. So yeah, that's Hatsune Miku, Miku Hatsune Miku, unofficial Hatsune Mix by K. So yeah, and this was £17 if I remember correctly, and it's from Dark Horse Comics. Next up, I have Mobile Suit Gundam Thunderbolt. The story and art is by Yasuo Otagagi. The original concept art is by Hajime Yatate and Yoshiyuki Domino. Now, I have heard a lot about Mobile Suit Gundam in the past few weeks. A lot of people seem to be talking about it. And this is one that a lot of people actually hate because it's mecha. I don't mind mecha. I, I played a few Japanese mecha games when I was a kid. G Darius and stuff like that. So... I'm intrigued to read it. I mean, I should probably read The Origin as well, but, you know, this was in Waterstones. I'm surprised that this is for £10. I actually got this for free because it was my loyalty card basically filled up and then it was like, oh, you can use £10. So, and I got this. And like I say, it looks very interesting. It's mecha. And I'm excited to just get into it. The artwork looks phenomenal, especially the first few coloured pages. It just looks great. I don't know, I can't remember how many volumes there are in English at the moment, but uh, there are at least, at least four, I think. But, yeah, I'm going to give this a read. I've not read this either. And that's by um, Viz Media as well. So, yeah, ne next up I have Shiver, Junji Ito Selected Stories. And I've actually read this. This is a compilation of ten uh, stories by Junji Ito. One of them is not actually... Um, new to me because I've already read it. I'm not going to say anything unless you collect Junji Ito by yourself. And this manga in particular is fantastic. It's probably my favourite 
a story collection by Junji Ito because it's just so messed up. There were three or four that I was like, <laughs> one of them makes my insomnia really bad in a sense. But yeah, I've read all of this. It is fantastic. You can actually see a, gl a glimpse of what you could expect. And Junji Ito, still my favourite mangaka. He is just fantastic. He knows how to play with you, in a sense. And that's by Viz Media as well, because, you know, Junji Ito is best known for publishing his stuff there. So that's Shiver, and I've read it. Next is the big one for me. It's Vinland Saga. And these are books four to nine. And I'll just put them here. Yeah. Vinland Saga, my favourite manga of all time. And I've got all the volumes now. This is from volumes uh, 7 to 18. I've read all of these as soon as I got them. And I'm so glad that this is my life because the manga is just brilliant. I just, ah, I cannot find words for it. It's just, ah. And the cover art is just fantastic for each and every one. Now, I was saying to myself, I am going to wait until Volume 9 goes down in value on Amazon so I can actually um, buy it. And then, funnily enough, a couple of days later, it went down in price by £4.25. So yeah, I got these for fairly cheap. Uh, brand new, perfect condition, and it's just... Uh, this manga, it never ceases to amaze me, even though I only started reading it last month. It's... Uh, my, my mind is going all over the place. But I am so happy. I've read, like I say, I've read all of these. They're fantastic. I would definitely continue to recommend them. I can't recommend them enough, is what I'm trying to say. So look, at that was book four. I just put down book five, book six, book seven, book eight, and book nine. I can't wait for book ten. It comes out in June. And it will have volumes 19 and 20. And then we'll have to see where, how long Makoto Yukimura actually takes to create chapters for the next few volumes. I hope it will be soon. And there's going to be an anime, which is something I'm so excited about. It might actually be one of the reasons I actually want to pick up to watch anime, but it's because they're going to make an anime. I said to my friend, I really hope Villain Sango gets an anime. And this was a, a week and a half ago. And then all of a sudden, my favorite, well, one of my favorite ma manga YouTubers, Insidious Swede, I think it was, uh, said, Check out this trailer, and I was like, what? But yeah, Spin the Saga, best manga ever. Read it if you like action, great heart, wonderful characters, Vikings as well. So there. Yeah. Next up, I have Wolf Children, Ame and Yuki. Now, this is the original story is by Mamoru Hosoda, the art is by you, not you. You, why you? And the character's design, the character design is by Yoshiyuki Sadamoto. Now I have, this is based on the film of the same name. I have personally never seen it. I don't watch much Japanese movies, anime that much, as, a, as much as I want to, but this makes me intrigued. I've not read this yet, but it looks so cute. And I mean, it's quite relatable as well in so many days, so many, cases these days because there's a lot of single mothers raising their children and they don't know what to do because are they going to be lost or without their other half that's supposed to be they're looking after them but you know I'm looking forward to reading this but it just looks so cute I mean I say that but you know and the, well the horror looks, looks cute as well I mean I love wolves they're my favorite my favorite animals second being scorpions and this is just, uh, I can't wait to read this, this is by Yen Press, and by the way, Vinland Saga is by Kodansha Comics, so glad that they're actually continuing Vinland Saga, so yeah. This is my last tall manga that I've got in my collection for March, and yeah, I'll give this a read soon, I promise. <laughs> so that's my tall manga, now for my short ones. But next, first up, I have my the first three volumes of A Silent Voice by Yoshitoki Oima. Now, I've actually read these. A lot of people seem to be talk talking about these lately, and I have read them, and it's pretty sad. Don't get me wrong. 
and I would definitely pick up the next four volumes. I'm not getting the box set. I don't want to get a box set because I'll probably get ruined and I don't want it to like mess up my order in my bookshelf. And this is, if you don't know what it's about, it's basically she's deaf her and she and he get, she gets bullied by him and then later on in life he meets her again and then he's trying to probably apologise for all the crap he's caused her and so he just tries to and this the great thing is this was actually nominated for an Eisner wow a manga nominated for Eisner it is a brilliant portrayal I mean this is probably the most relatable manga I currently own because I know what it's like because of my right hand I know what it's like to be different and be bullied for it and then okay there probably have been a couple of times that I've made up with um, my so-called bullies but yeah this manga, I need to get the final four volumes. It's just, I'm, I want to see what happens. And this is by Kodansha Comics, and these were £10 a pop. So I'm so excited to have them in my collection, and read and enjoyed for the time being. Next up, I have volume 20 of Assassination Classroom. I am so close to finishing this. This is, this is what, um, one thing that really annoyed me. I was supposed to get this last month, but for some reason... It, and the publishing date got changed to this month and I got it the day after because I pre-ordered it on Amazon and I've read this and it's <laughs> it's so sad I wanted to cry this is the second last volume in the series this is by Yusei Matsui and I'm not going to spoil it for anyone who hasn't read it but this is just uh, it really tugged on my heartstrings because it's just uh, I mean beautiful artwork at the front don't get me wrong but the story inside, so sad, and apparently volume 21, the final volume, is coming out the 19th of April. I, I don't know how to feel, I think I should be excited, but I'm not, But because let's just say the climax has happened. And I don't know what they're going to do with it. Apparently, according to Wikipedia, there's five extra manga at the back of volume 21, so I'll, I'll be looking forward to reading them and seeing what happens. But I'm not going to spoil anything, but basically, if you don't know what Assassination Classroom is, it's basically about um, these students, they have to kill their teacher, uh, who threatens to blow up the Earth after he blew up part of the moon. And they've only got the time that he's going to explode the Earth is on their, the day of their graduation. And like I say, I'm not going to spoil it, but... Just read it. <laughs> yeah. Next up, I have Astra Lost in Space by Kento Shinohara, another uh, Viz Media release. And this is another fairly new one, I think. This is, yes, this was prob probably released at the beginning of this year. And I picked it up because it looked interesting. And plus, it was cheap because it's Viz Media. There is only £7. And so is this. So, uh, um, I've not read it yet, but it's a. Uh, uh, a futuristic sci-fi one and I'm beginning to like a lot of sci-fi I mean I've just not long finished Orange by um, Ichigo Takano and that's sci-fi in a sense and it's just brilliant how sci-fi has actually become an, another part another part of my life but even though I like like Doctor Who and stuff like that so Assassination Classroom sci-fi as well so I'm getting into sci-fi again yay <laughs> But yeah, Astro Lost in Space, it looks, it looks really interesting, that's why I picked it up, and I am going to read it at some point, I don't know when, but I will, don't worry. If you have read this, let me know, tell me what you think, uh, and if I like it, I'll probably pick up the second volume when it comes out, if it's not out ready, it probably is, but yeah, I'm excited. Next, I have Battle Angel Alita, Mars Chronicle by Yukito Kishiro. Now, I only found out about Battle Angel Alita a few weeks ago, and all of a sudden, uh, a few days ago, one of my friends actually shared a post about Battle Angel Alita, and this is actually not the first one in the series. This is by Kodansha Comics, and this was another freebie from Waterstones. And, um, basically, I should get the original Battle Angel Alita, because this has like a, this is kind of like a prequel sequel. I don't know what you call them, but it starts off as a prequel and then it goes into a sequel, I think. But yeah, I should I should really buy like the original Battle Angel Alita 
to find out to probably understand what's going on but I just picked up because it looks so cute in the front but it looks so sad as well because there's a fire going on in the background but who's to know we'll find out in due time and um, but yeah and apparently James Cameron said it's a great kick-ass story if James Cameron says that I mean Next is probably one of the most anticipated titles I've had in recent times. It's the first three volumes of Berserk by Kentaro Miura. I've not read these yet. I am planning to. Every This seems to be the best manga of all time. Currently for me, as you know, Vinland Saga is, but this could change my mind. This is only the first three volumes. I am way behind. There's still 30, nearly 40 volumes out in English at the moment. I think and I've not even read a single one but because of people just saying Berserk best manga ever read it read it read it I finally picked up the first three volumes and this was quite interesting when I picked these when I got these delivered to me um, these were actually wrapped and I thought wow it must be so precious then this is by Dark Horse Comics and I am so excited to actually finally start reading it when I get the chance to I've been reading a lot of other manga lately but this is another mature manga I have. It says there for readers 18 plus for mature readers. Thankfully I'm 24. And you know, I just can't wait to read it. The artwork for the covers look fantastic. And this is from 19 when? Uh, 1989. So this is nearing its 30th anniversary. And I've not read it yet. What the hell? <laughs> but yeah, I will read it when I get a chance to. Uh, yeah. Next, I have Omnibus 22 containing volumes 64, 65 and 66 of Bleach. I was supposed to get this last month, but for some reason it only came in on the same day I got Assassination Classroom 20. So, even though the release date is the 22nd of February. And I've read this already, and I actually started to kind of enjoy it again. If you watched my top 5 favourite mangaka video, you might know that well, you would know that if, by my honourable mentions, T.J. Kubo was actually one of the ones that I had, was like, he started off good and then he went crap, a little bit crap, but it started to slowly pick up. I mean, especially volume 65, the climax of that, I was like, no, why, why that person, what, what why, I went to cry, basically. And I am so impressed, I mean... I've got eight more volumes to collect and I know for a fact Viz Media are going to be making the final eight volumes into omnibuses. I don't know if they do like two and one for volumes 73 and 74, uh, but we'll see. But I've read this, I'm looking forward to the next omnibus which should be out uh, next month. And if not, then who knows, but I'm fine. I'm glad I finally have it. So yeah. Some of the characters in there are pretty awesome as well, just so you know. Next up I have Blue Exorcist Volumes 1, 2 and 3 by Kazue Kato. I have not read these yet, I've heard so many, a few people talk about this. One of my friends who's into manga as well has read the first volume, I know for a fact. She's probably read the other volumes, up to date, I don't know, but she is, um, she did pick up Volume 1 I remember last year. And it got me intrigued to pick them up for, my, for myself. And I love the cover art of Volume 3. That is just brilliant. Uh, based on what I've read about the blurb, it sounds interesting. It's basically Satan in it. Or something like that. Yeah. That'll be interesting. But the cover art looks amazing. The artwork inside you, when I skim through, look, looks pretty interesting as well. But who's to know? I'll find out in due time. I'll probably let you know. But yeah, this is by Viz Media as well, as well as Bleach, and yeah, exciting stuff to read. <laughs> now, next I have Danganronpa, uh, a, a school of hope with students of despair, volumes 2 to 4. This is now complete, I've actually read all of the volumes, I read it last week, in one day basically. And I, it's very much like the game. Trigger Happy Havoc. So I'm quite happy to have all four volumes. I've read these, like I say, this is by Dark Horse Comics and I really, 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 really hope they make 
a manga for the other game. So, um, uh, Goodbye Despair, maybe Ultra Despair Girls, although I'm not a fan of that game, and um, Killing Harmony will be awesome, V3. Danganronpa is probably my favourite murder mystery video games of all time. <laughs> but yeah, it, like I say, it's very much like the game, and there's quite amazing like fan mail that Takashi Tsukimi actually got the mangaka of this and yeah i hope to hope to see like say i hope to see more manga in the series next i have dissolving classroom by jinji ito another one and i've read this and it's pretty messed up now this guy okay this guy by the power of apologizing somehow makes people's brains melt japan <laughs> But it was quite messed up because once you see it happening you're like uh, nope but i'm glad i had my dinner after <laughs> and basically that's it and there's a couple of short stories i can't remember no there's a couple of short stories that are at the back and they were pretty messed up as well so the only issue I have with Junji Ito, I've, I've noticed, I mean, I didn't, I don't think I bring, brought it up in my top five favorite mangaka video, as awesome as he is depicting these sort of things, he does have a bit of same face syndrome, because a lot of his female and male characters look the same, especially his female ones, but I'm not complaining, as long as the story is good and I can relate to it, in a sense, I enjoy it, yeah. That's Dissolving Classroom, and that's by Vertical Comics, my first Vertical Comics manga. <laughs> Next I have Durarara Ra Ra, Volume 4 by Ryogo Norita, Suzuhito Yasta, and Akio Satorigi. And this is now the first arc complete. Next will be the Saika arc, I think, and then the Yellow Scars arc. I've not read any of the Durarara Ra Ra yet, but this was actually going cheap. This was actually £8, compared to Volume 1 for some reason being £10. I don't know. But... I will read it when I get the chance to, and that guy actually kind of reminds me of Kisuke Urahara from Bleach. I don't know why, but it looks fascinating, and you won't be able to. I don't know if you can see that, you can vaguely see it, but they have like dollars on the front. I'm not going to say what dollars is. Read Urahara. I know what it is, despite I've never read it, but I know what it is, basically. So, yeah, I will read it, and then if I like it enough, I'll probably get the next arc to read. Next I have another series that I'm long overdue to read. It's Maggie the Labyrinth of Magic by Shinobu Otaka. Now this looks absolutely fascinating. The first page alone just blew me away. Um, uh, it's, it's like an Aladdin-esque sort of story and I'm excited to read this. Um, I'm way behind. There's This is by Viz Media and this is just Probably, yeah, one of the ones I'm very well behind on. There's like 20, 30 odd volumes, maybe. I don't know, but it looked interesting. I like the story of Aladdin. It's pretty stereotypical now in a lot of genie-esque stories. But, you know, what can you do? And I forgot to mention that Durara is by Yen Press. And, yeah, so when I get around to reading this, I'll probably like it. It's got Aladdin, Alibaba. So... We'll see what's about, and I like the Disney film Aladdin, as well as the main story, so yeah, we'll see how it goes. Next is another Viz Media um, uh, release, it's Monster Hunter Flash Hunter by Keiichi Hikami and uh, Shin Yamamoto. It looks absolutely amazing, I have never played a Monster Hunter game in my life, but... I have heard it's good. A lot of people seem to be talking about Monster Hunter World, which has come out recently, and this really intrigued me. There was a few misplaced volumes, basically, in Waterstones. There was like volumes 1, 4, 8, and 10, but I went to start off with one. Thankfully, they had it, so I picked it up, and I'm going to read it when I get a chance to. Well, but it's looking... it looks fantastic. I mean, I like fantasy, and speaking about fantasy, I've actually read that time I got reincarnated as a slime, volume one. And this is just, uh, this will probably get me ready for more epic fantasy stuff. But it looks great. <laughs> I love Japanese fantasy, JRPGs especially. I should probably play some Monster Hunter, I'll see if they have ROMs for it on other devices I have, so yeah. 
Next, anyway, I have Nisikoi False Love by Noshi Komi. Always one and two. And I've not read these either, but it looks absolutely interesting. I keep on seeing volumes pop up in uh, W. Smith, which is another bookstore I shop at, and also um, Waterstones. And so I picked them up and they look interesting. I mean, Noshi Komi looks pretty interesting, but by his artist's fiction, but Darbo looks very interesting. It's very cute. Although a lot of people seem to hate on it, I don't know why. I'll find out, or maybe find out why, or maybe say, no, you're wrong, read it again. This, this, and this happens. We'll see how what happens then. Yes? Okay. But yeah, I picked these up because it looks absolutely charming. Next I have is number six, volume one by Atsuko Asano, which is who made the original light novel series, and Hinoki Kino. Now this looks absolutely interesting. This is actually my cheapest credential comics. Oh yeah, Nisiko is by Viz Media. Yeah, this is my cheapest um, credential comics. This was only £8. Um, it, it looks interesting. I just picked it up because it says, why did I open the window that night? I have no idea, but we'll probably find out what that's on about and stuff. But it looks absolutely cute. And I like this guy. See what he's about. Um, but yeah, it looks very good. Um, sadly beautiful in place, hauntingly violent and others. That sold me. Violence? I like violence. Not in real life though. <laughs> Next I have Splatoon Volume 1 by Sankichi Hinodea. This is one of the Nintendo manga that have been released lately. I've read this. But as It's A for all ages, although I question like the authenticity of it because there are a bit a few points where the main character uh, what's his name again uh goggles he's nude okay thankfully they block they cover up the private part but really in a kids manga do you really want to encourage them to be nude see yourself but this is by viz media and like i say this is another one of these nintendo ones because i've already got the legend of zelda as you probably saw in my manga collection video Volume 2 comes out soon, I'm looking forward to reading it, and I might give get a copy of all the manga when, it, when it's complete to my nephew, who really, really wants this, even though he's never played Splatoon, neither have I, but I basically know what's about thanks to this. And so yeah, this is my second all-ages manga I've got, so yeah. I wouldn't mind if my sister doesn't mind. Next, I have The Case Study of Van Tess by Jun Mochizuki. Um, this looks absolutely interesting. I love one of the pictures in it, uh, if I can get to it. And this is by the same person that made Pandora Hearts. So, I just can't think of words that... I've never read Pandora Hearts, I do, although I did, I did pick up Volume 3 in a charity shop. But I thought, I'm probably not going to read this. This is by Yen Press as well. But it's actually the cover that I love. The guy all in blue. He just looks so cute. <laughs> and menacing as well. But yeah. This is set in Paris. It's got vampires in it, I think. And hopefully this will live up to my expectations. I spent £10 on this. And you know something? I actually would love to read more vampire stories. I mean, I've read Vampire Night. That was brilliant. I've not read all of it, mind you, but it's brilliant. Thanks to my friend, same friend that I mentioned earlier. She got me into it, and yeah. I'm looking forward to reading this. The artwork just looks phenomenal, especially the colours. Next is The Earl and the Fairy by Ayuko and Mizui Tani. This is another Viz Media release, and I initially thought, because I picked this up at W. Smith, I thought, oh, they didn't have this at Waterstone, so what the hell? Then I found it, and I was like, fuck. <laughs> I could have got it. But yeah, this is there on the Fairy. Um, it's another shoujo manga by v Viz Media. I don't like shoujo, mind you, but the thing is... I like Vampire Night and I like Orange, so I have to give shoujo a, a chance. It could actually become one of my favourite genres, surprisingly. <laughs> okay, I may not be in the shoujo demographic, but, you know... It's worth a try for everything, isn't it? And I picked this up because this looks absolutely charming. That girl with her big green eyes just looks cute as well. But 
It's set in London, I think. Yeah. So, it's set in London. How can I complain? <laughs> um, but yeah, I've not read that yet either. And last but not least is another Shonen Jump Viz Media um, release. It's The Promised Neverland Volume 1, and I've read this. It started off so cute, it was like, oh, this is our mom, she treats us so well, she's she's going to do this for us, and then, and then all of a sudden it took a dark turn, of like halfway in, and I was like, what? <laughs> but basically, these three kids at the front, Emma, Norman, and Ray, they actually are on a quest to go to the outside world, and also, but this is set in the future, this was like, this is like set in 20... 35 or something like that I don't know but yeah they're stuck they're in this orphan orphanage basically and they're they're looked after this woman that they call mom and then it just starts off so cheerful and then all of a sudden it takes a dark turn like I say I'm not gonna say what happens read it for yourself it is brilliant I am looking forward to the second volume the name of the orphanage is the Gracefield House which it says in the blurb and this is by Kayushirai and Posuka Demizu but I really want to carry this, carry on with the series. It's not nothing new in my in my eyes, but the characters seem very nice, and the kids are just ah, they're brilliant. But like I say, dark turn. Not going to say what it is. Find out for yourself. And that's it. Fifty volumes of manga that I bought this month. I spent a lot of money and I was like, whoa, well, why am I supposed to get this? Why is it not coming in? And I found out, oh, I've already spent it. Great. But yeah, I am not buying any more manga, in, uh, although I am expecting two pre-orders in a week's time. It should be here with me on the 5th of April. It's actually, uh, I'm not going to say what it is actually, because I'll probably do a manga haul video in April. And uh, in a couple of weeks, I'll be going to my near city and I'm going to go to Forbidden Planet and take advantage of their offer for three for two on all graphic novels if they still have the offer on brilliant um but I'm looking forward to actually you know getting more for my money um because I get it's my work payday on Sunday Easter Sunday probably not gonna happen but I get Thursday maybe I don't know but yeah hopefully I will be getting more it probably won't be as much as 50 because I spent a lot of money on all this I've probably spent about 200 300 pounds on the on this collect this all out this these 50 volumes all together but I don't mind it's part of my collection and I love manga so much so thank you guys for watching this video please comment some ideas for future videos I'll probably do manga videos I could probably do my top five ten favorite manga I don't know but it's up to you guys I'll let you decide and I hope to see you again soon, and God bless, <laughs> and see you in the next video.